Very, very good evening, friends. This side, Rahul Makan here as a Group Chief Executive Officer, Treasury Consulting, and also a venture capitalist. Treasury Consulting is a well diversified group having offices in three parts of the globe and, more importantly, 100% cash rich group, offering multiple services in the financial market, looking for banking license, and will definitely get that. Apart from that, our valuation is more than $500 million, 100% cash rich and with zero cent backing by any venture capitalists. So we are, not the, we are not the company who is running before venture capitalists, rather they're running before, before us for funding, but we do not want it. We are waiting for the coronavirus to over, which we envisage to be done completely by December 22. And hopefully immediately after that, we would be setting up our two entities, one in London and one in New York. That's for sure. Today, when I was uh, doing my research regularly, and even today when I'm shooting the video, it's about five in the morning. And I got yet another fancy thing from one of the mutual funds in India, which is ESG Opportunities Fund. I don't know, this fancy thing will definitely continue in India. Indian mutual funds are definitely expert as far as the fancy pronunciations are concerned. And I'm sure like credit risk fund, people will definitely going to be investing in these funds also. I understand that in the whole globe, there are talks which are going on covering ESG. By the way, ESG stands for environmental government, uh, environmental governance and social standards. How much is environmental? We all understand. How much is governance? No need to talk. And how much is social? We know. In fact, in, in one of the recent statements, one of the leading European banks also confirmed that majority of the hedge funds across the globe are not confirmed to the ESG. ESG is a biggest hype we are having in the world of financial market. Unfortunately, it was not a hype when it was started from Hong Kong, but by the time it reached at the level where we are today, it is more or less a biggest hype in the world of financial market. But before we go ahead to the ESG, let me tell you some fantastic performances done by Indian mutual funds. I look at the very latest magazine, you know that Treasury Consulting is having a lot of subscriptions, Reuters, Bloomberg, magazines and all, you know. So one year return in the equity large cap, minus, 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 minus. oops. ICC Prudential Bharat 22 Fund of Funds, one year return minus 32%. Fantastic. Super. Equity. Let me show you some another decent returns. Oh my God. Nippon India large cap minus 13.5%. That's fantastic. And Mahindra Mu Life large cap minus seven percent. Let's move further. Once again, the story remains the same. Equity large and mid mid caps story remains the same. Equity multi caps another fancy name. Let's look at result minus 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 four percent. BNP Paribas multi cap wonderful. Minus 5.5% SL multicap minus 14.4% HDFC equity minus 14% ICIC potential multicap minus 9.1% ITI multicap minus 12% equity multicap only PG, PGIM India diversified equity got a very decent result of 13.4%, which is very well. Rest majority of the people are negative in nature. The same is the story we are, we are having across the globe. The, almost the same story we are having across the globe, whether, you know, across all funds, whether you look at any fund. Example, I show you one more fund 
equity sectoral banking it's yet another fancy name equity sectoral banking actually it's kind of thematic fund Edelweiss ETF minus 21, HDFC Banking, ICC Potential Bank ETF minus 21, ICC Potential Banking and Financial Services minus 22, ICC Potential Private Banks ETF minus 21. Oh my God, private bank shares are like ETF is minus 21 percent. Fantastic. IDBI Banking and Financial Services minus 15.4, Investco minus 11, Kotec Banking ETF minus 21, Kotec PSU Banking ETF minus 50, Nippon India ETF PSU Bank minus 50. Oh my God, can I have any positive number here? Can I have any positive number here? Except one fund, which is known as the Pharma Fund, almost every fund is negative as far as equity is concerned. Pharma, why it is positive, we know. Hey guys, remember one thing that I'm not against these fancy words. But I would like to warn people the way I warn people in the credit risk fund, but many people ignored our video, rest you know. You're most welcome to invest in ESG opportunities fund. Please go ahead and invest. But remember that first understand what exactly is ESG. You know, more importantly, understand where the AMC, AMC stand asset management company, where the AMC is going to be investing this money. That's more important. Like I show you something. We are having few funds of ESC, but the return is not yet there. Example, we have one fund is SPI Magnum Equity ESG. The return of last one year is minus 4.1%. Fantastic. We got another information. Now, please be note that before you invest in ETF, like I'm just quoting, Myre launches ESG ETF and fund of funds. Myre Asset Investment Managers have launched Myre Asset ESG Sector Leaders ETF, which will track Nifty 100 ESG Leaders, TRI. Besides, it has launched Myre ESG Sector Leaders Fund of Funds, an open-ended scheme that predominantly invests in the aforesaid ESG by acting on the feeder, acting as a feeder fund. Guys, please invest in ESG funds. Nobody's. But remember that, understand what exactly is ESG. Understand what is ESG index. That's more important. Understand where exactly the money is going to get invested. Where is the final destination of the money? Understand, is this yet another fancy word like we had multiple fancy words in equities. I'll show you one more thing. Let me give you some in return on fund of funds. ICIC potential Bharat 22 fund of fund minus 32.9%. Fantastic. Nippon India Junior BE, BEBS Fund of Funds, minus 4.7%. Fantastic. Quantum Equity Fund of Funds, minus 2.1%. Super. And the only positive I can see is ICC Potential Global Advantage Fund of Funds, 10.4. ICC Potential Global Stable Equity Fund of Fund, minus 4.4. And... Franklin Life Stage, shall I talk about Franklin? No. ICIC Potential Asset Allocator Fund of Fund 3.0, ICIC Potential Passive Strategy Fund of Fund minus 6.5. And in the interest of time, I cannot cover everything. But guys, what I wanted to tell you that there are few schemes where we need to look portfolio in detail. I just I don't want you to say that in equities and debt funds and liquid and liquid plus you don't look at portfolio. No, that doesn't mean. 
What I mean to say is that specifically when we're talking about the funds like ESG, credit risk fund, thematic fund, PSU and banking fund, you really need to understand where exactly the money is being invested. Like I show you one more thing. There is a fund category called PSU and banking fund. Like I show you the one, the one year return 9.7, 9.3, 10, 13, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9. It is really good. You know why? Because it is investing in, in PSU and banking funds. But that doesn't mean that we will not, we are going to be investing like a blind. We have to, we have to look at their portfolios. Like if I look in the last one year, the one year return of these funds, then almost every fund is at least closer to 10 or very closer to nine, which is really a good return. Not bad. If you hold this fund for three years, then you will get 9%, which is precisely 27%. You will get in and in three years, which is not bad. And if you include the indexation, then after three years, more or less you are, uh, you are not in a, you are not in a taxable category. So need to understand that before we invest our money in a mutual fund, we really need to look at the portfolio very carefully. We should not look at like, you know, I would say ESG funds, credit risk fund and all. Please go and invest, but look at the portfolio very carefully. ESG is a lovely thing in the US market. It's a lovely thing in Singapore and Hong Kong market. But replicating ESG in India, it's really tough. Rest you, I hope you understand what I wanted to convey. Rest is definitely your call. Treasury Consulting is not going to be investing in any ESG related fund in India. As simple as that. Like, we not invested in any credit risk fund, any sectoral fund, forget the ETF. We not going to be investing in any ESG relating fund. That's it. This is Rahul from Treasury Consulting. You know our WhatsApp, 9818485155. Have a great time, sir.